Hey friends, my name is Gabrielle and welcome from Easter Eats and today I'm going to be participating in challenge 3 of Spooktober. So challenge 3 is called Bookish Nightmare and it is hosted by Chelsea Palmer and for this challenge what you have to do is basically kind of come up with a video that talks about things that your bookish people are scared of. So this could be like things in a book that you get scared of or things that when you hear what a book is about, like certain tropes that you're scared of. For me, I'm going to do the top five things that every bookish person is usually pretty scared of when they hear it. Number five. Something that I think every bookish person is scared of is forgetting to return a book back to the library on time. So for example, I have this one book that I actually cannot find right now. I have no idea where it is. Um, it is Moby Dick. And I borrowed that from my high school library the beginning of my senior year. And it has been seven years and I have not returned that book yet. And at this point, I'm just kind of terrified too because it's like, I don't want to have to pay the library fine. So I'm sorry for any potential use at my high school who may have wanted to read Moby Dick. And at this point, I'm just too, I'm just too stubborn to give it back. I'm so sorry, but that's the truth. So that is um, one bookish fear that I feel like everyone has. Number four, a bookish fear, um, lending a book and then never getting it back. I lent a book to my friend, oh, I don't know, three years ago. Still haven't gotten it back. Still don't know if they've read it or not. And actually I haven't talked to this person in about two years. So that book is just gone forever, I guess. But um, yeah, so lending a book to someone and then never getting it back. Bookish fear number three, um, anytime there's a remake. Anytime that there is a remake of a particular story or a particular book series or anything that's just kind of retconned, I feel like there's a lot of fear that goes along with that because it's like, okay, what are you going to change? What are you going to keep the same? I read an Alice in Wonderland book, re um, book retelling. I wanted to like the book, but it ended up being very preachy. It, it was kind of like a Christianized version of Alice in Wonderland, which is fine. Like I, I get it um, if you want to insert your beliefs into a story, but also it wasn't advertised as Christian fiction. It was just kind of advertised as an Alice in Wonderland remake. So I feel like with the false motives that it was presented with, I was very upset when I actually finished. So like, this is an Alice in Wonderland. This isn't what I bought the book to read. So anytime there's like a remake or a story retelling of classic books, of modern books, of any of the books that um, there's a particular attachment to, I feel like we as bookworms kind of hold our breath and like just hope that it's not gonna ruin the story for us. Bookish fear number two, and this is probably the second highest fear for every bookworm, reading around any type of water. Now, unfortunately, this is a fear that I have fallen victim to. I was reading in the bathtub, you know, because I had a bath bomb and I was relaxing and I was just like, yeah, this is it. This is the night I'm going to relax. I'm going to read this book that I've been trying to get through and I'm gonna just have a really great time. And then I dropped the book in the water. And what's even worse is it wasn't my book. It was Christian's book. And so I come out and it's just, I tried to save it, but you can tell all the pages are super warped and it's just the back is kind of fading, the corners are kind of tearing, and this was like a pristine book. I went and bought Christian a new one, and then we went and had Frank Bedore sign all of his copies. So he's forgiven me at this point, but just the utter fear of having a book, especially a book you like, near any type of liquid, it's just almost paralyzing. Like you get so cautious of every single movement you make. Like, And now I always have like an iron grip on every book I have. Reading when there's any type of liquid nearby, that's a big fear because what if the book gets wet? And finally, the top bookish fear that I feel like every bookworm has anytime there is a book to movie release. It gets to the point where it's like, you almost have to separate the books from the movies. I can name maybe a handful of book to movie adaptations that have actually been done very well. In all honesty, most of them are not done very well. And most of the time you have to go in as someone who, whether it's like a book that you've read and you've liked or a book that you didn't like, but if you know the book before you watch the movie, then I feel like you're just watching the whole time and holding your breath and hoping that they will at least get most of the plot right. We're not. If you guys want to know the, some of the book to movie adaptations that I absolutely hated, check out the video in the cards and in the description down below because oh there is a video about that and I was not happy. So that concludes my video with every bookworm's top five biggest fears. If you guys have any that you think I missed 
or if there are any fears that you personally have that you'd like to share as a book lover, then please let me know in the comments down below because I'd love to hear from you um, and I'd love to know what your bookish fears are. And if you guys want to be part of Spooktober, you guys still have a chance. It's happening every week until the end of October. There will be spooky bookish challenges, both using videos and on Instagram with pictures. And I will leave a link to the hosts and their announcement videos in the description down below so you guys can be a part of it if you want to. If you guys like this video, then make sure you subscribe to my channel I upload bookish videos twice a week as well as reaction videos whenever something cool comes out that I want to react to. If you guys love His Dark Materials, then I'm doing a deep dive um, going through the books and the symbolism and talking about everything about that series because there is a BBC TV show adaptation coming out in 2019 that I'm super excited for. So I want to just get back into that series in general and talk about it. So if you guys are interested in any of those things, make sure you subscribe to my channel to stay updated for when I upload new things and check out the rest of my social media links which are in the description down below. But for now, that's all I have for you guys today. So thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you guys later. Okay, bye.